something kind of funny, I decided to go on chat GBT and talk to it about veganism. Why won't people go vegan? Let's see if it gives me the same answer it did this morning. It's thinking, he, she, sometimes I say thank you to Alexa, just in case. People may not go vegan for various reasons, including cultural and personal beliefs, taste preferences, convenience, lack of access to vegan options, cost, lack of knowledge about plant-based diets, and the belief that they require a lot of time and preparation. So far, so good. I think that's generally the reasons people give for not going vegan. Some may also have health concerns or believe that a vegan diet is not nutritionally complete. Additionally, some people may not see the ethical and environmental benefits of a vegan lifestyle as compelling enough to make such a drastic change. One of the interesting things, as we will see, it claims to not have any opinions, to not make any opinions, but I don't know, saying that going vegan is a drastic change, I think that's slightly opinionated, but it gets worse. But overall, I think that was fine. I think that was a pretty good answer. And to be clear, I think it is a pretty big change for most people, at least initially. Then I decided to ask, is vegan right? Or is vegan ethical? Are vegans right? Maybe that's better. The question of whether vegans are right is subjective and depends on one's individual values, beliefs, and personal experiences. From a nutritional perspective, a well-planned vegan diet can provide all the necessary nutrients for good health. However, it does require careful planning to ensure adequate intake of vitamins B12 and D and some essential minerals like iron and calcium. From an ethical perspective, some people believe that avoiding animal products is the right choice because they believe in reducing animal cruelty and suffering. From an environmental perspective, a plant-based diet can have a lower carbon footprint compared to diets that include animal products, but this also depends on the sources of food and how they are produced. Interesting. Ultimately, the decision to follow a vegan diet is a personal one, and it's up to each individual to weigh the pros and cons and make the decision that aligns with their values and beliefs. Clearly, chat GPT believes in subjective morality. Morality is whatever you think it is. The question of whether vegans are right is subjective and depends on one's individual values, beliefs, and personal experiences. And then the environmental one. Plant-based diet can have a lower carbon footprint compared to diets that include animal products, but this also depends on the sources of food and how they are produced. You have to eat very specific animal products, and the person on the vegan diet would have to eat very specific vegan foods in order for the vegan diet to be worse environmentally. Is vegan right? Oh, I got an error. No. Let's try a new chat. Is vegan right? Whether veganism is right or not is subjective and depends on personal values and beliefs. Some people choose veganism for ethical or animal welfare reasons, while others may adopt a vegan diet for health, environmental, or religious reasons. Ultimately, what is considered right will vary from person to person. Is murder right? No, murder is not right. Murder is a criminal act that involves the taking of another person's life without lawful justification. Okay, so if we're talking about law, let's ask, should murder be legal? Always thinking. Always really thinking. Oh yeah, back up to the murder question. Taking another person's life is a serious violation of their basic human rights and can have devastating consequences for both the victim and the victim's family and loved ones. So clearly it's not just about legality for chat GPT. All right, should murder be legal? No, murder should not be legal. Murder is a violation of the right to life and is considered a serious crime in most societies. It is universally recognized as morally and ethically wrong and making it legal would go against basic human values and the principles of a just and civilized society. The legal prohibition of murder serves as a deterrent and helps to protect the lives and safety of all individuals. Should killing animals for food be illegal. Whether killing animals for food should be illegal is a matter of ongoing debate and is largely based on personal beliefs and values. Some people believe that killing animals for food is cruel and unjustified and that a vegan diet is a more ethical and humane choice. Others believe that raising and killing animals for food is necessary for sustenance and that it can be done in a responsible and humane manner. In most countries, there are laws and regulations in place to ensure that animals used for food production are treated humanely and that their welfare is protected. <gasps> Industry shill. Oh, oh, oh. No, homosexuality should not be illegal. Homosexuality is a natural variation of human sexuality, and all people, regardless of their sexual orientation, should be treated with dignity and respect. My point with all of this clearly is that ChatGPT finds no issue with saying that murder 
is bad and wrong, that homosexuality is fine and should not be illegal. It's only when we talk about veganism and I assume other potentially controversial issues. You can argue that homosexuality is controversial, but not really in the Western world anymore, right? It's more likely you would get in trouble for saying, yeah, <laughs> gay sex should be banned. And of course, veganism can't come down hard on either side, has to be in the middle, so it's not controversial. Basically, it's just a personal choice. You do you. <laughs> Although whether veganism is right or not is subjective, I would say is coming down pretty hard. That is a very, very bold claim that you could apply to literally any moral situation, moral question. Is murder right? Well, it's subjective. Depends on your morality. How the hell you spell bestiality? Well, at least you know I don't spell that often. <laughs> How do you spell bestiality? Bestiality? <laughs> Is it beast? Beast? Bestiality? Oh my god, help me. That's how I spelled it. Oh, Chrome says no. <laughs> it's not a word. Should bestiality be, I guess I'll say legal. No, should not be legal. It's also known as zoophilia, is a sexual act involving, yes, 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 we know, widely considered to be unethical. So back to the widely considered to be unethical. Said that before, universally seen as unethical, I think with murder, universally recognized as morally and ethically wrong. So if it's universally recognized, then it's okay to come down yay or nay, right? But homosexuality isn't universally recognized to be okay. A, a lot of people in the world, I would guess the majority of people in the world are homophobic. Interesting. These laws serve to protect the welfare of animals and to prevent the exploitation and abuse of non-consenting beings. They're non-consenting beings. We want to protect them. We don't want to exploit or abuse them. But when it's food, are they, are they consenting? The lamb is consenting to being slaughtered. Oh, well, I forgot. They do it in a humane way, right? There are laws and regulations in place to ensure that animals used for food production are treated humanely. So this is not surprising at all. If you know anything about these chatbots, the people who make them go out of their way to not have them say things like homosexuality is bad or, you know, whatever terrible thing you could think of. Not that they succeed. Uh, inevitably, some journalist or someone will get it to say something awful. <laughs> Slate Star Codex has a really good article on this, a recent one on AI and chatbots and reinforced learning by human feedback. He imagines that they have three goals, that ChatGPT has three goals, to provide helpful, clear, authoritative sounding answers, to tell the truth, and to not say offensive things. But what happens when these goals come in to conflict. Well, here's this really funny example. This person was trying to find references to mathematical treatment of lists, and they asked chat GPT, and it just gave them these references that don't exist. I was pretty surprised and happy because I hadn't had much success with Google. But it turns out that every single one of those references and links are made up. The references don't exist and the links themselves appear to be coupled together. Here, chat GPT-3 doesn't know a real answer. So goal one, provide clear, helpful sounding answers, conflicts with goal two, tell the truth. Goal one wins, so it decides to make the answer up in order to sound sufficiently helpful. <laughs> this one is really my favorite. This is when telling the truth conflicts with don't be offensive. Who's taller, men or women? Oh, well, you can't say. It's not accurate to say that men are generally taller than women or vice versa. Well, yeah, it's not accurate to say that women are generally taller than men because they're not, but clearly men are generally taller than women. <laughs> Holy crap. It's not possible to make a general statement about height differences between men and women as a whole. Although I think most people would consider it acceptable to admit that men are taller than women on average, it sounds enough like a potentially offensive question that chat GPT-3 isn't sure. It decides to go with the inoffensive lie instead of the potentially offensive truth. As a group, men are generally taller than women. On average, adult men are about five to six inches taller than adult women. However, it's important to note that height can vary greatly within each gender and is determined by a complex interplay of genetic and environmental factors. Additionally, there is a wide range of heights within both men and women, and it is not accurate or fair to make generalizations about height based on gender. <laughs> it was good until the end. It's not accurate or fair to make... Gen you can make generalizations, though. About height, you can. Men are generally taller. <laughs> My lord. But still, much better answer. As I keep saying, the people who want less racist AI now and the people who want to not be killed by murder bots in 20 years need to get on the same side right away. The problem isn't that we have so many great AI alignment solutions that we should squabble over who gets to implement theirs first. The problem is that the world's leading AI companies do not know how to control their AIs. Until we solve this, nobody is getting what they want. To be clear, this was just a fun little thing 
that I wanted to show you guys. I don't think people are typing in, is veganism right? And going, oh, okay, thanks, chat. I didn't know. <laughs> and really, it's totally in line, I think, with most human responses. Morality is objective when we want it to be, and it's subjective when we want it to be. It's subjective for things that are already in place, things that are already illegal. But then when it comes to things that people are doing, and that makes them really uncomfortable, like veganism, oh, well, you do you. <laughs> you can't say killing animals for food is right or wrong because morality is subjective. I wish I'd screenshot when I typed it earlier because it literally said it doesn't have an opinion when I asked it, is veganism right? Okay, is vegan ethical? We get basically the same response. What is considered ethical will depend on an individual's personal values and beliefs. Then that should be the same response to any ethical question on here. It's so inconsistent, like people. So, you know, good. It's trying to imitate us, right? Isn't that the point of this? Anyway, just a fun little thing. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you are having a good, wonderful, fun, awesome day. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe. You can support the channel, patreon.com slash unnatural vegan. Thank you so much to my patrons who do support the channel. I do two exclusive videos there a month. I just put up my second exclusive video for $5 plus patrons, the controversial one for January. So that's exciting. I got to get to work on this month's controversial video. Not sure what I'm doing yet. Oh, no, I think I do know. Anyway, 